The shifting ground in the rancho in the Palos Verdes Peninsula is expanding utility shutoffs to a new neighborhood this morning. Dozens of homes in Rolling Hills estates will have their gas turned off today and many will lose electric power by Wednesday. KCAL News reporter Tina Patel is live in Rolling Hills where some million dollar residences will shortly lose gas and go dark. Tina, this is becoming a tragic and familiar story in that area. These people are going through so much. Yeah, and nobody really knows when this will end. You know, where we are in Rolling Hills, Rolling Hills Estates, it's several miles away from Ranchos Palos Verdes, but homeowners here are being told that they're in the same situation as those on the edge of the peninsula and that they are going to have their utilities shut off. We have some video that shows the neighborhood that's going to be affected today. There's more than 30 homes in Rolling Hills that are going to have their gas turned off at 3 this afternoon. And then Southern California Edison has told more than 50 homeowners that they're going to lose power sometime between now and Wednesday, and these are indefinite shutoffs. Homeowners don't know if or when their service might return. The utility companies say this is all a safety issue because the land in this area keeps moving, and we've seen that several homes in both Ranchos Palos Verdes and Rolling Hills have been damaged over the last year because of the land movement. Many roads have buckled. Still, homeowners are frustrated because many of them say they're not being given enough notice to come up with any contingency plans. City officials here in Rolling Hills asking both SoCal Gas and Southern California Edison to aggressively look for engineering solutions so they can provide service here to customers here. Now, as we come back out here live, there are a lot of organizations and city officials that are trying to do what they can to help those involved. The Rotary Club of Palos Verdes Peninsula has set up a relief fund. We are told that SoCal Gas has pledged $50,000 into that fund. There's also local businesses like the sandwich shop that we're outside of that says that they're going to do what they can to help homeowners involved. But really what they want to know is, is there an end in sight? Will we be able to continue living here? And right now, unfortunately, we don't have those answers. Yeah, send it back to you. Tina, I think it's important to note, too, though these are very expensive homes because of their location, some people have lived in them for decades. So it's not all wealthy people dealing with this. There's a lot of hardship that's going to mm -hmm. come out of this. Thanks so much.